Hello everyone, this is me again. Um, this is going to be a different type of video than what you're used to seeing. I run my site called Geek Alabama, which is very popular, but when I do my posts and articles, I get, along with some good people and some good comments, I get plenty of bad comments. Mean comments. Just comments that you wouldn't say in front of another person if you met that person in person instead of just being on the internet. So I'm going to mimic what you see on Jimmy Kimmel with those mean tweets. And I'm going to do something called Mean Comments. And this is Volume 1 of Mean Comments. Here we go. Cue the music. I would just like to know who is enabling him. The boy obviously likes to eat, which I can relate to. But without a job, how does he survive? Keep power on the internet. How does he get to the mean these meetings that are in downtown Aniston? But my question is this. How come my 6'3 damn near 400 pound ain't had a damn bit of trouble finding a job with no car and no driver's license? That's why I have neither. The only one thing that pops out in my mind is the comment that he made about vocational rehab. That is exactly where he belongs. Yet, it isn't a good fit. I'm beginning to think his family loved ones are in denial about his condition and are perpetuating this farce. Any blank any way, it's probably a massive gash in my head that's got me f***ing about it anyway. But I genuinely care about my fellow Alabama's welfare. I'd be livid if I felt someone was being discriminated against. He isn't, not in my opinion. <laughs> you know what, Nathan? When someone else has to put in more legwork looking for you, look looking for you a job than you have, I wouldn't call that taking talking bad or making fun of you or whatever. But go ahead and have fun playing victim while your unemployment yourself sits around and is and moans about not being able to find a job because of the bad economy. You don't want to work. Period. You talk about only wanting someone to move you a chance, yet you had a chance after chance and still now people and still now have people offer to help you with a job, any kind of job, and you know them and blow them off. Even that fast food job is better than what you're doing now, which is absolutely nothing. Good luck whatever it is you're trying to do. Mm. And he says he claimed to help me. He hasn't. I have checked in. Of all the jobs I've done in the past, most of them have been fast food jobs I've been fired from, so I can't do something like that because I've been fired too many times. So that corrects that problem. Bills will pay. Has food to eat. Lives close enough to town to walk. Take that away and any job will start looking real good, but until then you're wasting your time trying to help. And why is Woodbright once told me, why work if you ain't got to? <laughs> He can say what he wants, but I know that these leads he has followed up on me that he didn't. I did. A couple of them were pretty solid, but after speaking with them per both people personally, no call, no visit, no nothing. I did email, I did talk to them, but they said they hired somebody else, so... I don't know what this person's talking about. Of course, no place is going to hire anyone whose idea of applying and forwarding a link to a visual resume over and over. If that's your idea of looking for work, as the Saturn Sports will equally put it, then you're living on a different plane of reality. Simple question is this, is any of this stuff you do on a day best at helping your life situation? The 15 three social media cop, the blogs, videos, and pictures of the most random stuff at the most random times. And now that that's helping you, you get out of the hole that you truly complain about. Stop and stop doing these things. I have never in my life tried to get someone so many jobs that had so such attention to work and I'm sorry that the stuff I tried to get you hooked up with Way was, was below which you're acceptable, but your Christian skill set does appear to be stellar. In my case, in any case, I won't bother you again with anything related to you, helping yourself out, as I'm pretty sure that's not what you want anyway. By the way, this person, the one person made most of the comments, so I've blocked them and reported them. Reported them. So, you might have you might not be on social media much longer. Next comment. Your posts overflow with misplain beige flame and frustration to us non-Aspies. You come across as bitter, angry, and generally unpleasant. Stop posting this I'm a victim crap and start making birdhouses out of popsicle sticks or painting rocks to establish a pleasant online presence for the purpose of selling your handmade crafts. I wish you luck. Olive Garden. Congratulations on pissing off all the Italians out there. <laughs> How about getting a real job? No one's going to just uh, just up and offer you one. Get off your 
and applying top to managers and actually bringing a real resume, not some crappy visual video one. Life isn't free. The rest of us work for what we have. We the same as stop asking for handouts. <laughs> at your condition that will be going nowhere here in Alabama. Face it, Yankee, the majority of people in Alabama could care squat about people in email treatment, especially when the treatments come from the taxpayers. You need to realize something. Most people down here in this house are Tea Party supporters and once most, if not all, taxes come. Even that means that people suffer. Why not you go back north where you came from and keep that f***ing big government high taxes nonsense up there? <laughs> Last one! I will say this, it gets damn good gat damn about a candy bar, other than my tenure. My little pony, really man? God bless that thing young and best wishes. One day publishers clearing house is going to show up with a check. <laughs> oh, I wish that would happen. And as for uh, my little pony, I'm the associated with Hasbro and I've done interviews with the, with the people making the show. And there's a video there and there's a link to that video in the description. So I do a lot of Geek Alabama and there's a lot of people that know me, it's just... These few bad apples that decide to make my day worse, and this is why Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and other social media and internet channels have had to crack down on cyberbullying. And people have had their accounts deleted, and some people have been charged and arrested because cyberbullying is not white. Some people have killed themselves, committed suicide because people are cyberbullying them. And I'm used to this. I get a lot of these comments every week, so. I'm not wanting to get myself in that Zoom because I see this all the time and I just laugh. <laughs> so go ahead and make some bad comments about me. You won't be on the internet much or social media much longer because your accounts will be deleted. Facebook, Twitter, Google, they're all on my side about this. So quit it. Thank you all for watching my meaning comments, volume one. Y'all have a good day. Thank you.